This conference will now be recorded. For sales cloud. So in the sales cloud, we talk about the sales process. Okay. So let me log into our account. So, as a sales executive, <clears throat> when the sales executive is in the field, um, from marketing to till to close the deal, okay. So, what type of uh, how he is going to use Salesforce? That is what we are going to see today. Um, I am not as an admin, as a sales executive. So, how I can use a campaign table, a lead table, account contract, and opportunity? We'll see. Okay. That is what sales process. Let's go log into the app. So, what are the standard objects are available for sales cloud? Campaign, lead, account, contact, and opportunity, right? So, campaign means it stores all the marketing related information. So, whatever the marketing is going on, <coughs> then they'll get some inquiries. Those get, will get stored in the lead. Now, that lead will get assigned to the some sales executive, and then he will try to follow up them. That time, he will convert that lead into an opportunity. So on the opportunity he will start work okay to till to close the deed so that process now we are going to be seeing so so let's create a campaign uh, just click on campaign click new to create a campaign record i'll say this as a advertisement make sure it is an active and the type would say advertisement so in progress started and what is ended generally we keep for two three months so since it is a practice system i'm just keeping for one week okay and then uh, what is the revenue that we are going to be get from this campaign okay how much money that we are going to be get from this campaign expected revenue and how much that's budget that we are going to be spend we, we need to spend some money right and then uh, do you have any parent campaign for this save so now the advertisement got created okay campaign got created so let me add leads to this campaign okay let me add some leads to this campaign Now let's add some leads to this campaign. Okay, one second. I'll share one second. Okay, 
now let's create some leads So now I'll create a lead record. I'll click new. We got the lead from web inquiry agriculture industry. Save one new. We'll create a few records. From where we got this inquiry for inquiry, say one new. We'll create one more, then we'll go ahead. Now add the leads to this campaign. What are the leads that we got? Select the lead. Select the lead and add to campaign. Okay. So not only one lead, more than one will lead, we can add to campaign. So go to leads, we can add to campaign more than one lead. So I selected all of them at a time, add to campaign. Now, now, let me change the status of the lead to working contacted, okay? Select the lead, change status, working contacted, same. Select all of them, change status working contacted so multiple leads at a time we can change the status to working contacted now so convert these leads okay to make it an opportunity we have to convert this lead the converting lead will be done only one by at a time not everything at a time open the lead so why we have to convert means to close this lead we have to convert okay okay to close this lead we have to convert if you convert then only it's going to be moving to opportunity so why they kept uh, these two tables why they cannot do in the lead table itself means okay see whenever some uh, company run the advertisement whatever the inquiries that they get everyone will not buy the product right 
so to to make sure okay who are the uh, serious uh, inquiries okay that's how they kept initially lead so when initially inquiry comes it gets stored in the lead and if they paid some advance amount then only make it into the opportunity so company to company the criteria will say change but general standard procedure is if you want to work on that opportunity we have to we have to convert into an opportunity the lead has to convert into opportunity okay now let's see how we can convert So open the lead. Open the lead. Select the drop down, convert. Okay. See when you convert the lead, okay. When you convert the lead, okay, the lead is divided. The lead is going to be divided into three parts. Account means the company which put up the inquiry. So from the company who is the contact person that we can see in the contact table. Opportunity means the complete lead details. Okay. If it is already an existing inquiry, you can select existing or else convert. So here the important thing is once we convert the lead, the lead details again we cannot see in the lead table. So once we convert the lead, the lead details again we cannot see in the lead table that you have to remember. So remember once we convert the lead, the lead details again we cannot see in the lead table. Okay. It is converted it means converted. Again we cannot see in the lead table. Okay. We cannot revert back. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Same way, convert other leads. Now go to opportunities. Open the opportunity. Now in the opportunity, this is a sales path. Okay. So day one, the customer will interact with the customer. That is what prospecting. He try to contact them and um, set up a meeting and all. Then he will go and meet. He will try to analyze. Okay. Uh, does the really he is a need or not then he will analyze what kind of product he can buy and he can propose and then the customer will think and get back and again he can propose uh, reanalyze repropose and then negotiations will happen if the customer like he will buy the product if he doesn't like he says no I'm not interested okay so in this process he can send an email from here he can chat with the customers okay all those things you can do okay now just convert 
so let's say uh, this lead got converted with this amount we will now uh, so does he is going to be a new customer or existing customer reducing the product upgrading the product or replacing the product or downgrading the product i'll say he's a new customer save no edit new customer as a we will Let's say we lost this. Okay. So now go to campaign, close the campaign. Need it. I'll say completed. Total four leads came. Okay. Three we won, one we lost. This is how we will play with the uh, tables, the users. We won, lost. Is that the word? Any questions? So this is standard sales process when the sales executives are using this. So here only they will ask you to give a different page load access, record types, field access, okay, objects, uh, any data to be inserted, okay. So whatever the concepts till now we discuss, everything will come here. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. So next we will talk about, continue this, we will talk about lead management and then in the service cloud case management and then reports and dashboards so that uh, in one session we can see tomorrow, okay, and then we will wind up tomorrow itself and uh, I need a request from any one of you, uh, create one practice environment, okay, create one practice environment, keep it with you so that tomorrow I will show you the deployment process. Okay, I need one more uh, practice environment. So whatever changes that we made here, right? So these we will create as a package and go to the other system there we will install so that without creating anything, you will get the same whatever we did, like the objects, app, everything will come. Okay. Did we talk about sandboxes? Sandbox. Sandbox. Sandbox topic. Did we talk? Developer sandbox. Okay, like that. Four type of sandboxes. Did we talk that? Let me check. 
I'm talking about this one. Did we talk about this? Okay, let me explain. What is a sandbox? Why we need means? Okay, so in a real time, everything will not be in the production system. Okay, we will have a three system. One is a development system, quality system, production. So we will not do directly any changes. The developer will not do in the production. So he need a system which exactly look like production. That is what development. So in the development, he will make a changes and then he will test in the quality system. And those changes, he will move to the production. That process is a deployment. That is what tomorrow we are going to see. And now in Salesforce, we don't have a concept called development system. We have a concept called sandbox. So what is a sandbox? Sandbox is nothing but a, it's a copy of production. So we have a four type of sandboxes is here. A developer sandbox, developer pro sandbox, partial copy sandbox, full copy sandbox. So developer sandbox, it will be 200 MB data. Okay. The refresh means it will connect with the production system every day. So generally we use for development activities, any development activities we use this. So developer pro sandbox, it will have one GB data. A refresh will happen every day so generally we use for integration testing if you want to integrate this uh, with sap system or whatsapp or anything we go with the developer pro sandbox so partial copy sandbox 5 gb data it will be there a refresh will happen every five days so generally we use for end-to-end -end testing end-to-end -end testing okay now full copy sandbox it will be same like production a refresh will happen every 20 day, eight days. So we use for user accepted testing. UAT means user acceptance testing. Okay, we use for user acceptance testing. And how to log into these sandboxes is same. The URL is test.salesforce.com. Test.salesforce.com. Not login.salesforce. Test.salesforce.com. Now, so how we can create a sandbox? Let's go to setup. Sandbox. So in developer relations, we, we didn't get this scope to create a sandbox. Salesforce is not giving your understanding. You have to go like this. You have to go to setup from then you have to give a sandbox. It will ask. When you click new, you want to create developer, developer for partial copy, full copy. So once it is creating, it says processing, then it will complete. From login, you can log in. Okay. While creating, you have to select what you want to. Okay. And just go through this. Any questions? Uh, how many classes are left still? Like how many the more? Last. Tomorrow Sorry? is the last. Tomorrow is the last. Tomorrow one. is the last. Okay. Thank you. So I was told, like, would you be able to give me the information about the mock interviews and stuff? I was told by, you know, uh, there that there would be a couple of mock interviews and stuff and resume. Yeah, you can resume and forward. Okay. The interview related, you can talk to them. Okay. I'll give you all the documents. And um, don't worry, after the class also, you can contact me for any help. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, is it going to be only through emails? Oh, you can call me, no issues, through WhatsApp. All right, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, fine. Thanks. Any other questions? Okay, so I think so you guys have my number, but let, it, let me put here on the notepad. So yes, that'll be great, number. thank you.
So anytime if you guys have any questions, you can contact me on this number. Okay. Okay then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.